bucked up with the camera and it wasn't recording. I was like, no, the battery can't be gone already. And it turns out the card was full. Forgot to leak all those very heavy videos I had in there. Yeah, fun and games. This uh, adjustment I made on the radio seems to be working just right. We're heading west on Highway 18. Well, over Highway 18. You see the frozen Pembina River there. Cruising along at 3,000 feet. About 800 feet AGL. Uh, turn south for a while, see what's happening down there. Definitely a west wind. The uh, forecast says southeast. <laughs> yeah, that's that's uh, environment Canada weather. <laughs> yeah, it's a hazy day. For some reason, it seems like I'm lower than I than I indicate. I did set that up. All else fails. Old uh, compass out. Ground speed eighty eight point four, indicated seventy six. Definitely got a tailwind. <laughs> Going 92 miles an hour, it's 77 indicated. <laughs> We've got some air flowing up here, I'll tell you. Elevation 2,998. I'm actually going to correct that. So, yeah, I'm also say 3,000. Uh, 74, it's 76 indicated. Seventy-seven, seventy-six, seventy-seven indicated, 67 ground. West walks up there to town. A little tower over here. Beautiful clear sky to the northwest. Fifty four mile an hour. So the wind is west, northwest. Temperatures all look good. Nice and warm in here now. Scavenging lots of heat off the uh, muffler. Very slow journey going this way. This guy plowed his field. Interesting time of year to do that. Well, I'm just going to sign out for now and just fly around. 
bit of a fog bank up here. It's going to go to Burrhead Bank. So I'll just stay away from that. They, uh, I've had my fun with fog already. So windy, Pembina meandering river. Big pile of logs jammed on that bridge support down there. See what's happening down south here. Doing a very slow left turn just because of that wind. At least a 20 mile an hour wind. Yeah, the, the whole town of Barhead's buried, buried in fog. Do some sideways flying for a bit. Probably could have made a nice little trip to Marathorp too. Oh well. Just under a thousand feet AGL. Yes, indeed. Get another video of the horizon. Looks pretty nice. Gasoline's almost down to the full mark. Been up. Up about 40 minutes. Uh, with our traffic, Foxtrot Mike Alpha Hotel is 12 nautical miles to the south. Uh, we'll be uh, inbound by uh, five minutes for a new midfield crossover. Shut her down again. Not much going on. Westlock traffic, November Victor Delta. Entering the runway two, uh, two eight. Backtracking two eight. Westlock. All of a sudden it gets busy. Ah oh, man, I wish I had the camera. I was cool. The Cessna just took off. He was well below. He's about 800 feet below me, making a bank going, going head towards uh the airport. I kind of turned southwest just to guarantee I was clear of them. Oh, 
fog and haze everywhere. Yeah, I don't want to go too far. Westlock traffic, the land where Victor Delta is rolling to it. Westlock. Came off a private strip. I cannot see it anywhere. Westlock traffic, Foxtrot Mike Alpha Hotel is downwind 28. Uh, we'll be doing a full stop, Westlock traffic. There's three spam cans there right now. Two Cessnas and a Tomahawk. Got Manawan Lake right up ahead, we we'll also go down for a visit. Now we have Leduc off. That's my traffic, November Victor Delta will be departing to the west, uh, climbing up to 4,000, leaving the circuit. Westlock traffic. Bye. Oh, Westlock traffic, Echo Sierra Zulu over center field, be joining right hand downwind for runway 28, full stop, Westlock. Westlock traffic, Park Shop Mike Alpha Hotel is on final 28 full stop, Westlock traffic. You want to land, you think about landing and you look around, eh, we'll go here, eh, we'll go there. <laughs> yeah. Westlock traffic, November Victor Delta is clear to the west, 4,000 feet. Westlock traffic. Uh, Westlaw traffic at Coal Sierra Zulu on final for runway 28, full stop Westlaw. Okay, that was the guy that just cleared 28. I think there's another one coming in, but his radio is so bad, you can't make out a word he says. There we are, Manawan Lake. Pretty much Manawan Slough now. All the Alberta lakes are drying up, filling in. Of course, agriculture speeds up the inevitable. Got Morinville down there. Making the turn into the wind now, it's just like <laughs> slowed down 20 mile an hour. Nice along that horizon. Yeah, it was a little clearer today. I think I'd, I'd go for an adventure, but I should have got up earlier. Well, I did get up earlier. I should have come out earlier. these days I'm going to go to Athabasca Airport. I've done boil a few times. And uh, I want to go to, there's two airports in uh, Brighton Valley. But when you're, you know, you're cruising around 78 mile an hour, you got to leave a little early and then when you get situations like this with a headwind your uh, ground my ground speed right now is like 55 mile an hour or so yesterday would have been an awesome day for doing that but the old skull cramp i woke up with fix that well let's head north back to westlock It's a flat, dull, gray, boring trip, so I'll just shut the camera off till, we'll, till we get there. Yeah, I got my uh, 
phone working again for the GoPro. And I changed the battery, so we're almost at the airport. It's clearing in the west, fogging up in the north. Main fog seemed to have a thing this year. <laughs> Westlock traffic, Ultra Light India, Sierra Charlie Hotel, five miles south southeast of the airport, inbound at 3,300 feet. Westlock traffic. 